In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an awesome Discord server in under 5 minutes. Let's get started. Start by loading our community server template. The link's in the de description below. Click it or copy and paste it into your browser. Hit the camera upload button, find your server picture and open it. Rename your server, then click create. Your server is now loaded with channels, categories and roles. This is the template you can customize to fit your server type. Right click any channel, select edit, rename it to match your server's vibe, and save. Repeat for other channels you want to tweak. Click the server title and open server settings. Go to roles. Pick a role, rename it, and save. Do this for all roles you want to customize, then close. Go to the rules channel. Type out your server's rules. If you want to create more professional info channels, then you can use embedded messages and channel banners. Back to the server title. Open server settings and click community on the side. Hit get started, check both options, and click next. In the first dropdown, pick the rules channel. For the second, choose the updates channel. Click next, agree to the terms, and finish setup. Expand the safety notifications menu, select the safety notifications channel, then scroll to the server description box. Write a brief description, copy it for later, and save. Select onboarding from the side, click check it out, then got it if prompted. Click edit next to raid protection and ensure all options are enabled. Go back, then edit DM and spam protection. Set the verification level to medium, high, or highest, and save. Edit auto mod settings. Select block mention spam. Set the limit to 5. Enable block message and send alert, and choose the auto mod alerts channel. Save. Set up suspected spam content with block message and send alert, selecting Automod Alerts. Save. Open commonly flagged word settings. Check all language types, enable block message and send alert, and pick the Automod Alerts channel. Save everything. Back out and edit permissions. Enable require two-factor authentication, you may need to verify. Click next and got it. Check boxes for all channels for new members to see. Click next. In the pre-join question box, type click to claim your verified role or similar. Click add an answer, type verified role, and assign the member role. Add an emoji for flare. Uncheck multiple answers, check required, and click next. Set up the welcome sign. Choose yourself as the author, write a custom welcome message, and save. Add a task. Say hello to server. Select general chat, add a wave emoji, and check member sends a message. Save. Add another task. View the server rules. Pick the server rules channel, add a book emoji, and select member visits. Save. Add one more task. Check out our server updates. Set it to the updates channel, add a loudspeaker emoji, and select member visits. Save. Scroll to resource pages. Add the self roles, announcements, and social updates channels then click Next. Now enable onboarding. Close settings. Now go to the top, click Server Profile, scroll down and add up to five traits to show off your server's interest and personality, and select an emoji. And after that, select games that your server members play. Disable Private Profile if your server is a public server. Next, open Discord's new feature server tag. 
Here, if your server has three boosts, you can create a four-letter server tag that everyone can apply. This is an additional Discord perk you can unlock with server boosts. Now scroll down, open access options, and under server rules, add rules that show an onboarding. Here's the onboarding preview. This is our final server setup. I hope this tutorial is helpful for everyone. Like the video, and check our other Discord tutorials.